Hello, this is Dude Django, and here is my custom Lego World War II Mac. And first thing, I know it's not all custom. There are a couple d people with brick arms. And I also have some custom guns. And first I'm going to show off two of my favorite custom guns. Here's my custom Thompson. It's pretty awesome. It looks a lot like a real Thompson. And just give me a sec. This is um the one of my buildings in the Mac. Um taking out your details. And here's one of my favorite soldiers that I made. Um, it's just one of the Indiana Jones people with a different head and a helmet. This is not a Brick Arms helmet. This is a helmet I got in um, these sets that I got from Toys R Us for like $15. So I thought that was pretty nice. And here's my U.S. Marine. He shouldn't be in there because it's um, a European Mach, but he's got a BAR, Browning Automatic Rifle. Um, here's his BAR, and here's the guy, he's got a satchel and a backpack, and he's shirtless, here he is, so, those are two of my favorite guys, I just wanted to show them early on, um, on this side, I only have two buildings in this, I have a person, a minifig in here, at the doorway, with his Thompson submachine gun crushed over, I've got um I got a sniper on the rooftop and I've got a corporal with um with a bazooka and I got this in a Star Wars set the bazooka piece and here's my sniper he's um shooting through this window right here here's his here's his gun it's completely custom but all I did was use some tape and some Lego parts, like three, le three or four Lego parts. So it was pretty cool. He's right in here. It's my building, and that's the roof. He's hiding in the destroyed part of the roof. And then I've got um, some men pinned down over here by um, some Germans. I have a Nazi sniper. This is a custom. I got it in... Um, I customized a minifig I got from Lego. He's a Nazi. He's my Nazi. He's got a sniper rifle. And there are and the Germans back here behind this shamble and ruin are firing on the U.S. soldiers pinned down here. And, oh, here's my street lamp. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but as you can see, right along here, the Germans up here are firing. We've got a dude getting shot here by a German. Another dude getting shot by a, a Nazi commando. And here is um, this guy. He has a shovel. Again, I got it in that $15 set from Toys R Us. And he's digging a foxhole the machine gunner and we've got a couple um raider troops coming in with bazookas and um thompson machine guns and they're just charging up under enemy fire I like this guy this guy oh speaking of the toys r us thing these are the people from toys r us but i put different heads because this is an ugly head that's an awful face it just looks awful, so yeah. All I had to do was switch the head. And they come with, like, these brick arms guns, I think. That's like an AK-47 or something. I think it's pretty cool. Or it could be, like, an STG-44. Um, and I've got um this guy here. He's roadkill. And I have uh, Colonel knifing him. He's bleeding out. There's Colonel's gun on the ground near his blood pile. He's, um... If you know Call of Duty, he's basically like in the revive mode thing, and the guy's killing him with his knife in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I've got this mortar pit here, 
this is one of the things I wanted to show because here's my custom browning machine gun. And this is not copying brick arms because I've made this before they made their browning. But all I have is a regular pistol, custom ammo box, willing to sell it. It's pretty cool. And I have a stand for it right here. So it's a propped up browning. Got a paratrooper, custom paratrooper. I've got um oh his head came off. I've got a trooper with a rifle, a British, and he's got a beret, and they're manning a mortar. It's like um one of those mortars that you see in the um Lego stop motions. And then I've got my radio man with a um rifle. An Enfield rifle. And they're all hiding in the ruins. Like, this is set to be, um, like, liberating France in a tactical road fight. Like, it got bombed. That's why there's all these, like, ruins and cover for the people to hide in. And I've got another guy in there with a grenade. I used, a, I used these microphones from the Alien Conquest sets as grenades. And they work out really well. They're exactly like the stick grenades. And I've got this rocket right here. It's coming, um, it's just swooping down about to, um, blast and kill everyone. And, oh, here is, here's some of my vehicles I was working on. This, this is just like a 4x4 four four Jeep with a custom machine gun on the back. Completely custom. And my custom Sherman tank. And I'm willing to sell them. And my custom Tiger tank, which I'm also willing to sell. But anyways. Um, also in here, I think this is the best flamethrower ever made. I have a Nazi with a flamethrower. It's just, it's pretty simple. And then he's got this backpack on him. It looks really cool. And he's a SS Austa lieutenant. And then I've got another SS guy. With a custom flak jacket on him. Um, willing to sell flak jackets too. And I've got a medic over here tending to a wounded. Um, there's one, the grenade right here. This is uh, the grenade. And this is a good example of the thing the thing I was talking about, like the Lego minifigure. I just put it on a different head. And this came in one of the old Indiana Jones sets, which were really cool. Like, this is one of them. They were all, like, about World War II and stuff, so they were really nice, but to stop making them. And it's that's basically my mock. There's a parachute. There's a bomb crater. So yeah, this, that's my mock, and thank you for watching this, do Django.